I want you to know about an acid that prevents and actually helps reverse bowel disease. So this is a very powerful thing. But let's talk about your bowel first. The total surface area of the GI system is about three to four hundred square meters. That's a lot. That is a tennis court. That is a good part of a football field. That much surface area in your intestinal tract. Here's the kicker though. Only one single cell separates what is in your intestinal tract from the bloodstream. So here is your intestinal tract. There's your bloodstream. You have one cell separating it, keeping all of the bad things out from entering your bloodstream. So what protects that single layer of cells and how critical is it to protect that la layer? Extremely critical. Here's what the new good news is. Trillions of good bacteria protect this layer of your digestive system. We are supposed to have three and a half pounds of good bacteria in our intestinal tract that are protecting and helping maintain that one cell barrier that we all need. So the good bacteria protect us. We give them a home. They can live in our GI tract. We feed them, ideally, and we'll talk about that, and then they protect our health tremendously. And you're gonna learn how much in just a few minutes. So what makes these good bacteria thrive? If I can say one word, it would be fiber. We eat fiber, the good bacteria ferment the fiber and produce something called short chain fatty acids. Now I want you to remember that word, short chain fatty acids. They are extremely important in our health in many ways. Short chain fatty acids help our defense system not to attack the wrong thing. Is your body attacking you? Do you have inflammation going on, autoimmune disease? Well, these short chain fatty acids are the answer. They signal your body when you have adequate short chain fatty acids that, hey, these are the good bacteria here. You can leave them alone. There's enough good bacteria that you don't need to worry. Everything's okay. And don't activate your defense system to attack your body. That's what short chain fatty acids do. Now, what if you don't have short chain fatty acids? Well, then you don't maintain that good one layer barrier. You have an unhealthy gut and leaky gut. So here's that intestinal tract now, and we've got some gaps between the cells so that things can get in there. And look at what's, what's located here. That is your gut lymph tissue. 80% of your defense system, your immune system, is right here in your gut. And that can cause problems. You can have undigested food and bad bacteria that now, because there's a gap, get into the bloodstream and activate your gut lymph tissue. And then this says, we got invaders here, attack. And unfortunately, it doesn't just attack the the things coming through, it starts attacking your own body. So it is extremely important to feed these good bacteria. Without fiber from food, bleeding and inflammation and mucosal problems develop in your intestinal tract. Now listen to this. How often does that happen? If you don't have enough fiber, if you don't have enough short chain fatty acids, it happens 100% of the time. Everybody who is low in fiber eventually will develop this problem because of a lack of short chain fatty acids. Without short chain fatty acids, your defense system starts attacking you, leading to inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and much more. Actually, your body can start attacking your joints, your thyroid, your intestines, your muscles, your pancreas, your skin, your thyroid, and on and on and on. And these are some serious, serious GI problems, all caused by the lack of short chain fatty acids in your diet or in your body because of a lack of fiber in your diet. Now, way back, look at how much fiber we used to consume. 100 grams a day. 
And what is it today in America? 15 grams. Now that's not the case for people following the seven systems plan because we show you how to get lots of fiber in. Lack of fiber leads to bacterial overgrowth. So the wrong bacteria start taking over and overpopulating the small intestines. Now you're not supposed to have a lot of bacteria in your small intestines. Most of it should be in your colon. But when there's not short chain fatty acids, things start going wrong. You also start to get nutritional deficiencies in these cells because they're looking for that short chain fatty acid to help fuel them. How important is fiber? Here's what the paper said. Fiber intake is critical for optimal health. Now there's no nutrients in fiber, there's no calories in fiber, but I want you to know it's one of the most important things that you need to have in your diet. The good news is adding fiber can contribute to systemic and local anti-inflammatory activities. So you got inflammation in your body, get the fiber going, that boosts your short chain fatty acids, which helps the digestive system and your whole body. Now I've known this for decades now that we can change serious intestinal diseases. And one of my patients years ago was a pilot who had ulcerative colitis. Now if you wanna see what that looks like, that's what it looks like, ulcers in the colon, extremely bad problem to have, but especially if you're a pilot. He's not going to be a pilot a lot longer if he continues this route. But he joined the seven systems plan, started doing the right things, and in one month his ulcerative colitis was in remission, and it has been gone for many years now just by fixing his digestive system. So I want to encourage you to boost your short chain fatty acids. You now know what they are. And you do that by increasing fiber. The absolute best source of fiber is vegetables. I want you to eat cups and cups of vegetables a day. I also to encourage you to use probiotics and there's some specific strains that are more helpful than others. I want you to have fermented foods in your diet. And if you want the big picture, if you wanna know how to get healthy and reverse problems, Check out 7systemsplan.com and make sure you share this video so others can gain this information.